that laid the golden eggs. A certain man had a goose that laid him a golden egg every day. Being of a covetous turn, he thought if he killed his goose, he should come at once to the source of his treasure. So he killed her and cut her open. When great was his dismay to find that her inside was in no way different from that of any other goose. Greediness overreaches itself. The Lynx and the Mole Under the covert of a thick wood at the foot of a tree, as a lynx lay wetting his teeth and waiting for his prey, he spied a mole half buried under a hillock of her own raising. Alas, poor creature, said the lynx, how much I pity you. Surely Jupiter has been very unkind to debar you from the light of day which rejoices the whole creation. You are certainly not above half alive, and it would be doing you a service to make an end of you. I thank you for your kindness, replied the mole, but I think I have fully as much vivacity as my state and circumstances require. For the rest, I am perfectly well contented with the faculties that Jupiter has given me, who, I am sure, wants not our direction in distributing his gifts. I have not, tis true, your piercing eyes, but I have ears which answer all my purposes. Hark, for example, I am warned by a noise which I hear behind you to flee from danger. So saying, he crept into the earth, while a javelin from the arm of a hunter pierced the quick-sighted lynx to the heart. Let none criticize nature. The Man and His Dogs A certain man, detained by a storm in his country house, first killed all of his sheep, and then his goats, for the maintenance of his household. The storm still continuing, he was obliged to slaughter his yoke oxen for food. On seeing this, the dogs took counsel together and said, It is time for us to be off, for if the master spare not his oxen, who work for his gain, how can we expect him to spare us? He is not to be trusted as a friend who ill-treats those on whom he depends. Oh,